Welcome back, Goku Sun DBZ here, and welcome for a new unboxing. This time we are checking out a newer Speedle from Yu Yu GX. Last time we checked out Midterm Paradox. This time we are checking out Midterm Destruction. So, with that said, music today in the background is from. Trevor's Town and Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. So, enjoy. And basically, though it says four, it's basically four mini decks, or basically the size of two normal decks. So, with that said, here's the basics of what you get. And you get four of 20 different secret rare cards. So, you have to buy multiples of these decks if you want all that or buy them individually on eBay. So with that said, I do say the box is pretty nice quality. You do also get one of your bad things to put out to play the game, which is good. It's pretty hefty size too, I might add. Here's the secrets. And yeah, I in advance tore off the top part of the plastic things just so wouldn't have to pause the video like I normally do. And also pre cut the back off of the secrets. So first check out the actual cards in the decks and then we'll check out and see what secrets we got in it. So with that said, first up, I'll we'll check out the protagonist one. Of course, as you know, the main heroes were always known for using hero theme deck. It is weird how with like the hero cards and stuff, there's like this weird shiny glossing on top of the cards that I don't see in the normal usual cards. But I do, for some reason, in the speed duel cards. Like super shiny. Definitely some interesting cards. Now, I don't have a huge amount of knowledge on a lot of this as I only watched some of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And I recently checked out a few episodes of, I believe it's called like Arc V or something like that. It's just from like the late 2010s. I have kind of mixed opinions so far. GX, I will say, is easily probably the second best so far series. But nothing's ever going to surpass the original. Go out blind nostalgia or whatever. Still some interesting cards I'll have. Some I know and some I don't. I will have to go later and actually read and see what the cards actually do. That has come to my attention. Apparently there's actually people out there that are interested in strictly collecting like all the Speed Duel stuff. As the prices on Speed Duel decks and packs are actually very, very reasonably priced. Definitely a lot of dinos, that's for sure. Jurassic World. Ooh, that's copyright infringement there, Konami.
Some interesting cards. And that's what you get in the Heroes deck. And now let's see what you get on the other side. Leave a comment below and tell me your thoughts on these starter decks. Or, I guess technically more structured than actual starter. Yeah, I recently found a newer local shop that actually had a couple of these different types of decks for sale, which is why I picked them up. Plus, also support a local business. When it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, that's kind of hard usually, because very few local places actually deal in Yu-Gi-Oh. Mostly just Magic and Pokemon. Definitely see a few familiar cards. And a whole lot of ones I've never seen before. Mystical Space Typhoon, an all time classic. Yeah, I always found these cards kind of weird. I don't even know who a few of these characters are. And now, let's see what we got on the secrets. Obviously, of the four, what we get on the top of the secrets. Elemental Hero, pretty nice. Okay, interesting. That's kind of cool. And got another elemental hero. So in total, at least on the secrets front, here's what. Got in total. But that's it, I'll see y'all next time, stay safe. See you again, same YouTube time, same YouTube channel.